We bow our heads before you to worship this night. Lord, we thank you for this time and this place. We thank you, Lord, for these that have prepared to sing your praises and worship your, yourself in all your glory. Lord, as we gather tonight, we pray and ask your blessing and your peace to be on what we do this night. Your presence be within each heart, within each mind. Lord, we pray this in the matchless and wonderful name of our Savior, your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Sing. Come on and sing. 
became flesh and lived for a while among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. The song started over 2,000 years ago, and it's still echoing around the world today. In every corner of the globe, you may hear the joyful melody sung by those who have seen him and have seen his glory, those who have found God's promised Messiah for themselves. shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The promised Messiah came into the world as an infant, tiny, helpless, weak. But he had within himself all those things that God was, unlimited power, inexpressible glory, and overcoming love a love that would change the world and a world that would change us. Oh, oh. 
When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God. I believe their testimonies must have sounded a lot like the song the angels had just sung to them. I can imagine their voices singing with joy as they spread the news to their Judean neighbors. servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. Then the angel left her, and Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. The song began before Jesus was born. Shortly after God's miracle had begun to grow inside of her, Mary praised God with the beautiful song that she sang. She knew that God had called her to be the mother of his son, and she trusted him completely in all things, knowing that she would soon bring the Holy One into the world. And when the time had fully come, the shepherds hurried in from their fields to see him. They shared the angel's song with everyone they met, including Mary and Joseph. <clears throat> and Mary treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. Amen. 
For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. And the song goes on throughout all the ages. It began before his birth. It was sung by the angels to a handful of lowly shepherds on a lonely hillside. And now thousands upon thousands of us who know him shout his name. We shout his name in praise and lift him up. And the praise will go on and on until his kingdom has fully come and we join the saints of all the ages in praising the Lamb. And then, forever with them in glory, our song will blend with the song of the angels in endless praise and glory to our God.
thing to be in the church when she is all beautiful and ready to receive the Savior. If you would hear this, this is a canticle of Zechariah. It's also called Benedictus. And it's what Zechariah said when John the Baptist was born. And it's important to us because John the Baptist had a job of preparing people to accept the Savior when he came into their lives. And, you know, that's our job as the church now. We are the John the Baptist of our time, preparing people to accept the Lord Jesus Christ. This is what Zechariah said. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to set the chosen people free. The Lord has raised up for us a mighty Savior from the house of David. Through the holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our forebears, and to remember the holy covenant. This was the oath that God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship without fear, 
holy and righteous in the Lord's sight all the days of our lives. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace.
Sorry, for a nice one. You know, when we used to travel around and speak about our missionary work, we found that the second presentation, of course, he did the same thing in the church.